Going to my side. Mayor Castle Powell, you're recognized. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you and good morning. First, I want to thank the Army Corps for accepting my invitation to come down to South Florida, to Monroe County for that public meeting to understand the effects of the Lake Okeechobee and how you regulate that lake and how that affects the livelihood in South Florida. So thank you for that. And as you know, the Everglades is such an important and critical um, component of water quality and for the livelihood of Floridians. The success of restoring the Everglades is really going to rely on partnerships and collaborations between state and federal agencies, including the Army Corps. And central to this management is the inflow that comes into Lake o Okeechobee, but also managing the discharges from the lake. I find it completely unacceptable that um, the lake has released contaminated water after Congress has appropriated hundreds of millions of dollars for Everglades restoration in the past 19 years, and uh, that the communities living in the east and west of Loka Okeechobee have received high levels of green-blue algae that have killed fish, that has sent children to the hospitals. We are experiencing such a crisis, a public health crisis in our communities because of the high toxicity of Lake Okeechobee that's coming from the Lake Okeechobee. Also on the south, hundreds of thousands of acres of seagrass has died because of low levels of water coming down from Lake Okeechobee. So clearly something is just not working. And I know that there's a long history, we can talk about what has happened in the past, but I wanna take this opportunity to understand what we need to do and to do a better job of protecting the public health as we're regulating the lake. So General Spellman, I know that you mentioned that your mission is the, and, and your goal is, uh, or the priority is the life and public safety of your communities, which I think I would assume public health is a part of that as well. So who do you think needs to be at the table involved in making these decisions, managing the health of the lake and the discharges, and what can the Corps specifically do to avoid another disaster which we saw last summer? So maybe the first question, everyone has to be on the table. The federal partners, not just the Corps, um, but also all state and local agencies. Uh, and we think we have that uh, in our governance meetings uh, where Colonel Kelly um, uh, makes the decisions on, on releases. I, I, I would just say also as a general statement that the Corps is, is all in. We are going to use all of our operational flexibility uh, from our water control manual at Lake Okeechobee to our construction uh, capabilities, as well as our, our research capabilities to help the state deal with this, uh, this water quality issue. There are no uh, short-term solutions, ma'am, to the, to the broad problem that you outlined, but there are a number of projects ongoing all around that lake that will contribute to the, uh, the long-term solution for your constituents. Who is right now responsible for measuring the algae levels in the lake? Me measuring? the levels of toxicity in the Yes, ma'am. So I, I think that's uh, probably the Flor Florida Department of Health, possibly the uh, Center for Disease Control, uh, folks in the uh, the medical community that uh, that deal with water quality. And are you in close communication with these departments? Yes. Would you be able to provide to me a plan, a communication plan on once you understand the levels of toxicity, what the next steps are before you decide to release that water? Yes, we, we can share with you our, how we govern uh, our governance process that uh, that's a decision making that our district commander goes through when he's deciding where and when to release. Okay, and um, what do you think we can do in Congress at the federal level to help reduce the risk of the toxicity, both in the short term and the long term, as we release the, the water into our communities? Yes, ma'am, as I said, there's a, a number of, probably about 64 in total in the South Florida Ecosystem Restoration Program. Uh, that will need uh, continual investment uh, over the ensuing years so that we can get the infrastructure in place to help the state deal with this uh, water quality issue. Will the $200 million that I requested that has been approved and appropriated to continue the Everglades restoration project be helpful and how quickly can we expect the completion of that project? Uh, so uh, yes, ma'am, absolutely. It's gonna help us expedite this program. So with the, uh, the $200 million in the president's budget request, we will complete the Kissimmee River restoration uh, next year. Uh, we'll continue our construction and oversight for the C-43 West Storage Basin. 
We'll continue our construction oversight and design for the Indian River Lagoon South on the east side of Lake Okeechobee. That project will be complete in 2022. And of course, we'll continue uh, our development and planning with the South Florida Water Management District for the design of the Everglades Agricultural Area Reservoir. That's all next year. Thank you, General. I yield back my time. Thank you, Ms. Mercosur Powell. Mr. Graves, you're recognized.